What you got? The gate key. You got the key? Yeah. Have you got the secret? The key to your heart. Yes, babes. Do you know what this is? A camera. It's a camera? It's a YouTube video. Do you know why? Is it? Why? Because someone said on my video the other day that they missed the wife. Oh, really? Yep. Look I at did... that. I, I, the, the thing is, it's because <laughs> I'm fed up of going like that. Yeah, there you go. Tiptoe. Oh, Tiptoe. So we're going on it's our nice travels It's nice to be today. on your video, actually. He doesn't include me much these no, days. No, I've been doing them. So this is like <laughs> number three back. Yeah. He was in one of them. Look how much I'm ducking. I'm squatting here. Mwah. We're off to Tawny Hotel today in Staffordshire. Oh, look, we're in Adidas. We're both in Adidas. I've got my uh, Forest T-shirt on that my mum bought me. Cheers, mother. Um, I am actually getting a leg pump. What, by crouching down? Yes. So, yeah, we're going to take you along with us. We've got uh, some bike riding planned and just having a, a good time, chilling out. Yes. Having some private time, which is much needed. Because when we go out in public, like, it's not the same anymore, of it's course. a little bit different. So we need that privacy, don't we? We do, yes. yes. We do. We're doing some uh, relationship counselling. And we're making some improvements. Are we? <laughs> Shush. <laughs> right, anyway, this is how we're travelling. We've got the Kia on the go. You know how we like to ride in style. NK Motors yeah. Derby. I'm going to reverse it back so you can get in, darling. And this is what we're taking away for one night. <laughs> yes, we pack light, not. Anyway, first stop. Can you guess where it is? First stop is... Costa. Costa Coffee. Peace out for now. See you in the coffee shop. What do you reckon, guys? I broke my promise. I said I'd see you in the coffee shop. Shall we let her in the car? Yeah, come on then. Let me in! I was contemplating going by myself. Yeah, you. I need some private time. Yeah, all right then. Ah. You wouldn't last the day without me. Oh, babies. Look right. Heck, he's been sat in here. The uh, guys washed it and obviously brought it forward. Because oh. we have got a nice clean kiss board top now, so I can actually show you um, what the inside looks like. Oh, the gate's, the gate's closing. On. Press the key. Um, so yeah, this is it. It's, it looks very, very nice. The first bit of the car is actually electric. It's a hybrid. Um, so I'm just getting in front of the gate so that doesn't... Yeah, the first bit is a hybrid. It just looks cool. It's very nice, actually. What do you think to the old Kia? I do think it's nice, it's just that there's a lot of signage on it. There's a lot of signage on it. We'll show you the signs. <laughs> anyway, look at me in the driving seat. So, show you how much uh, space I've got. Obviously, I'm going to put my seatbelt on because we drive to survive. That's an F1 series, by the way. Are you F1 fans? Put it in the comment. I love F1 and I want to go to Silverstone. I really want to go to Silverstone this year. It's looming quick. I'm just waiting for the tickets in the post, babes. Okay. That's from you. Just hinting, like presents like anniversaries coming up well when maybe, you get better at my presents we'll see maybe silverstone tickets for anniversary what do you reckon we'll do you see. like the new forest top i do like it yeah your mum did god guys in the comments forest yes or no derby fans are definitely going to say no apologies anyway let's go get this coffee <laughs> oh here we go we have our costa coffee secured cheers Cheers, my dears. Coconut flat white. And a small one shot coconut cappuccino. cappuccino. The only amount of times I go in the coffee shop in Costa. And I'm like, what's the best way to say small one shot coconut cappuccino? You need to find an easier drink to say. Coconut cappuccino one shot coffee. Yeah, I just can't do it. It's brain, brain's dysfunctioned. Coconut cap one shot. Anyway, I can't believe how busy it is this morning. People are out, the sun is out, the blue skies are out. They said they had a queue out the door, round the corner, at 8 a.m. What? Mental. Anyway, we're going. Really? Somewhere quiet. Yes, really. What? See you later. Check the bad girl out, a little racer on her bike. What are we doing? Going for a bike ride, babes. Looking what, at the view. What have we not got to do? What do you mean? What have I not got to do this time? We're on our adventures on a bike of some kind. 
not. I don't know. So, for you guys that followed our adventures in Switzerland <laughs> and saw me fall off the bike, <laughs> the aim of today is to not go crazy. Cheeky bike. mountain bike, don't fall off the bike. But yeah, check out these views. Just arrived at Tawny Hall Hotel. The restaurant up there. And then the grounds have got 70 acres. So we've hired out these cheeky little bikes and we are going to go exploring. Katie's going to look after me gonna keep me on my toes or on my bike shall we say that's my little bad boy check that beast out look how high the seat is <laughs> right we're off we'll see you in a bit we'll show you a few sites if we come across anything really nice I'm sure we will got a bit of a confession to make um, how long did we last on the bikes five <laughs> no give us some credit about ten be fair the bikes were a bit uh, cranky what I mean by that is when you change gear it just skipped I think I nearly they weren't the best. pulled me groin but anyway we were peckish we had some breakfast it's like one o'clock in it mm. so we've ordered some uh, chicken avocado sandwiches and some hummus and I'm going to show you the food and the beautiful view not just that one but there's a the food looking cheeky I didn't know how much hummus you'd get, so I ordered two because I'm greedy. And Katie was like, oh my God, we could have done one. But I'm going to eat both. If there's any left, babes. Mm. And there's a lovely view. Bye. Right, guys. I am going to show you where me and Jamie are staying overnight um, at the Tawny Hotel. And the location is stunning. But check out our little pad. Check this out. Let's go and see where Jay is. Where is he hiding? But look, that is where we're staying. So let's go check out the pad. So this is the dining area. Oh, hello, oh. Yeah. Oh, do you come with this place? I am your, at your service. I'm your servant. Can okay, you get in there? Just relaxing, you know. So this is where like the chill is, TV. This is a little fire. This is our shower. I don't know how you could, I don't know how you're gonna fit in here, Jay. Does that make me the big fire? Yeah. Wow, that toilet is little. <laughs> Got coffee, fridge, and then where the magic happens. Oh, oh, oh. oh there's a bed. Check out that. It is so lovely. And which room is this called, babe? Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus? Yes, yeah, where the magic happens. Yeah, but what's this room called? What's it called? It's called a glade hut. A glade hut. What's the name of this one in particular? Roosters. Roosters something. something. We don't know, but look, how cute. Dressing gowns. Can have a bath. And then this is like the perfect bath, bath for Jay. Pheasant's roost. Pheasant's roost. Okay, this is outside our little garden area. In the little woodland. Guys, check out this bath. What the hell? This tin bath is insane. And we cannot wait to get in this later. Push for bubbles. Ooh. It is so cute. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. But look at that. That is views. It's so pretty here. And it's dog friendly, so you can bring your dog ears. Yeah, so that is where we are staying tonight. We're going to go for some food later and in the restaurant. But yeah. Oh, Grand Prix. Just catch up on qualifying, baby. Yeah? That's not what this is about. I know. So they've had the Grand Tour. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Yes. We'll see you later, I guess. We're going to do some relaxing. I'm going to turn off Formula One because there's more important things to, uh, you know, do like conversation and catching up. Hmm. Peace out. <laughs> there you have it. Jamie in the biggest bath in the world. I said on Instagram today when we saw the swimming pool that we was bath shopping, but I legit think we are bath shopping. This is the bath. It's amazing. It was so good as well. Yeah, it felt good. Bubbles, everything. Bubbles, heat, relaxation, just what we came for. So, ladies and gents watching at home, what are we doing? We're making time for each other, aren't we? Yeah. This is a big, big thing. You know, our making time for each other used to be going to a coffee shop, but our visits to Costa now are very different than they used to be. Yeah. We had to... Um... Oh, yeah. So we had a, uh, we went to Costa the other day. Um, and obviously it's lovely because, you know, obviously like kids love him. Um, and it's so amazing to see and the kids want pictures, which is absolutely fine. But <laughs> when you get um, women coming over, yeah, and then sitting down at the table with you yeah. while you're having a coffee and just like sitting next to you and having a full-blown conversation about everything that's going on in their life like you know what I mean it gets a bit it's like we're actually there to have a coffee together um, but we can't do that now so I think it's very very important that we do things yeah. privately so we're able to communicate properly and just be in that moment and, and spend time together which is very very important and something that we never do which we're definitely going to try and do more of going forward is celebrate our achievements because we're both very driven individuals and very successful I'm going to be I'm, I'm terrible at being honest aren't I yes in terms of Taking in terms of in terms of celebrating your success yeah. and um, taking compliments, like you always try and kind of just shove it under the carpet, like it's yeah. it's nothing. Because believe it or not, I'm not a big head, and I don't like to ever sound or come across big headed. So for me, someone compliments me feels it feels awkward, and for me to compliment myself feels awkward. But we are very successful, and I think that's down to us working together. Um, and being able to stop and be present and celebrate your achievements is hugely, hugely important in life and it's something I've definitely not done enough and I think because of me, Katie's not done enough. So we're here today and tonight we're going to celebrate. That might mean the cheeky, what well, are they called, Moscow Mules? Yeah. Mo <laughs> Moscow Mule, vodka and ginger. Um, taste amazing. Oh, so if you haven't insane. tried them, let us know in the comments when you try them. Now, just because we're away relaxing doesn't mean there's not time for a bit of mental resilience work as well. So, I've filled the bath with cold water. Ooh. Tonight, and leave it overnight to be even colder in the morning because it's still about three degrees centigrade. Look at the sun. It's still about three degrees centigrade at night time in the UK. So that is going to be, I don't know if it's going to be three degrees, but it's going to be five or six come the morning, I would have thought. So we're going to see, see me jumping in, try and get the wife in as well. Um, anyway, we're just getting ready for dinner. We're going to have a lovely meal in the restaurant tonight. And I've got to walk and get Katie's jacket because we left it in the car. So, that's it. I'm not going to take the camera to the, to the restaurant because we want a bit of quiet time as well. But I'll see y'all. Probably in the morning in this. See you later. Uh, so last night, oh, trip, get me coffee. Last night I was in here enjoying the hot. Never had a cold bath with bubbles. But this morning we are. Um, and there's several benefits to this. I've piped on about this for a long time. And in the bodybuilding world, everyone's always like, well, I'll blunt your hypertrophy, muscle response, and your potential growth, blah, 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 because it's uh, blunt inflammation. And for muscle growth, real inflammation. We don't need to get too scientific. But anyway, if you time it away from your training, you're not going to have an issue. Katie's freezing here. She's in a 
a nice wrapped up uh, gown. <laughs> gown. Um, <clears throat> what we are going to benefit massively from is mental resilience, mental strength, willpower. I got Katie on this and until she saw um, Wim Hof, I was going to call him Hoffman then, <laughs> or the Hoff. We could call him the Hoff, it could be the, the new Hoff. Until she saw Wim Hof and read his book, she was a bit on the fence, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. But since then, tell the camera how much it's changed your mental power. Absolutely massively. Yeah. To the point where, like, I'm, I can't really swim. No. Nope. Can't swim. No. Nope. And um, I've been wanting to do ice baths and things for a long time, read Wim Hof. And I don't think I just his story inspired me and it made me think, you know, well, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. I am capable of doing this. And I did it. And then I just got into, this is crazy. I got into a swimming pool and just started swimming. Yeah. So I don't know. There's obviously a switch in mind in terms of water. I was always scared of water. So I feel like the mental challenge, just the mental challenge in itself, regardless of all the benefits, but the mental resilience. Yeah, I think it just, yeah, made me swim. That sounds weird, but it yeah. did. And it will make you do things that you think you can't do because that's what it's all about. It's about telling yourself and reinforcing the mind. All that wind, Jay. It's fresh, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Reinforcing the mind that you can do a lot more than you've been telling yourself you can do or can't do for years and years. Because what does um, the guy that runs, oh my gosh, mind blank. Mind blank. David Goggins, David Goggins. As we grow older, we get calluses on our mind, like calluses you get on your skin from training. He describes it as calluses on your mind, and these calluses, they are basically protecting <coughs> our fear response and stopping us from doing things. So we're living a very safe life, and growth is outside of comfort. This has got a super amount of benefits as well. And I'm just going to get in and tell you the benefits when I'm in there because you're always probably sick of me drinking my coffee, avoiding getting in. So we had a hot oh. bath. We had a hot bath yesterday. Yeah. Emptied it, and you said I'm going to fill it with freezing cold water, Ooh, and I'm going to leave it overnight, and I'm going to get in it in the morning. Like I would get in it as well, but I'm absolutely full of cold, and yeah. I feel like <coughs> oh, crap. This. Um, <coughs> what's it? <coughs> I reckon tap water's about ten degrees. This has been sat overnight. It was cold last night, probably three, four degrees in the UK. So this, I, was, I don't think it'll be as cold as three, four degrees, but it might be five or six. Like, let me put my hand down. Go on then. Okay, that's doable. Doable? Yeah, I what would smash that. It's freezing, that is. Yeah, it but is you know why? Yeah. yeah, it is cold, but because I'm so used to getting into an ice bath, yeah. it's not as like, I'm sure it'll feel very different when you get in right, there. Right, yeah, because, uh, you're getting bored, aren't you, watching me and me Yeah, uh, and listening to me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bubbles. Oh, yeah, Bubbles. <laughs> oh, wow. Get your flippy shoulders underneath. I'll tell you what. Can't do it. The bubbles make it even colder. Yeah. Are you okay? Yes. Moving water. It's colder than still. You can get used to still, but moving, it's like shocking. It's like in a cold shower. Anyway, benefits. So, increased dopamine response. Dopamine is a feel good hormone. So, if you want to feel good, you're chasing those dopamine hits. Dopamine, dopamine. In the morning, if you do cold therapy, it's going to increase that response and you're going to feel good. It's also going to blunt inflammation. So, Inflammation is a cause of lots of pain, lots of discomfort, and a lot of issues in the body. So inflammation response and trying to reduce inflammation is very important. Just try and keep warm, even though the coffee's cold as well. I'm gonna say, the coffee's not Coffee's really cold. It. You've not got any in there. Metabolism effects. Oh, thanks, darling. Metabolism effects. If you wanna boost your metabolism, increase your fat burning potential. Cold water therapy is good for that. Injury healing response. Immune response, immunity. Like, since me and Katie have been doing cold therapy, and obviously just leading a good, healthy lifestyle as well, we get ill far, far, far less. I know Katie's a little bit ill at the minute, but she has got an immune disorder, and she does an amazing job of staying fit and healthy, 
with an immune disorder. So I'm sure if most people have immune disorders, but all the time. I, since I stopped bodybuilding and started doing these things and leading a much healthier lifestyle, I've been ill probably once in two years. Yeah. And I was ill all the time, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. Because my yeah. body was in a stress state, an inflammation, inflammatory response state all the time because of me being obese. I was obese as a bodybuilder. I was overweight all the time. I was running around at 300, well, I wasn't running, I was walking around <laughs> at 330, 340 pounds. It's not healthy. I'm 280 pounds now. If I drop below 280, Katie says, Jamie, you look a bit skinny. You need to be big. Anyway, without further ado, this is freezing. Head's I'm going to do one head dip and I'm done. Oh my god, it's freezing. Let's do it. <clears throat> Woo! Oh. And one more benefit <clears throat> of cold water therapy is just, uh, just a little bit. When you come out, it makes you look a bit leaner. I yeah. Think. yeah, it does. Just it like Tighten wraps the everything. Yeah. So on that note, I hope you all have enjoyed that little bit. But not only that, I've learned a bit, and it makes you want to try it out as well. You can do it in your bath. Your bath's only 10 degrees where it's going to be a start to getting in cold water. You can do it in your shower. Or you can invest and get a cold water therapy specific device. Or you can get a massive bathtub like this with bubbles. And we can have some real fun. Anyway, we're going for breakfast soon, so let's get ready. Welcome back. We've had breakfast. That was lovely. Um, we're just about to leave now, so we're going to sign off the video. And Katie... Surprisingly enough to me, is just uh, I've walked in and she says, I've wrote a poem. <laughs> so if she can hold her excitement and her laughter. I'm not excited, it's cringe. <laughs> we're going to sign off this YouTube video, first time ever, with a poem. And please comment below if you like the video and if you like the poem. Please remember to sub 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 subscribe. I've caught you off guard with it, haven't I, with my words? You've caught me off guard, like the video. And here we go for Katie's fantastic, magical poem. Let's just make things clear here. Right. They give you a book and a pencil. Yes. Maybe the quiet brings feelings to the surface. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, as I was sitting here and Jamie was setting up the camera, I just started to write words. <laughs> okay. You don't need to make excuses for our crap it. It's just saying. Okay, out. it's pretty shit. <laughs> but I'm going to read it to you. It's, not, it's lovely, actually. <laughs> you liar. Right. It's been a magical time in a magical space with a magical person. That's me. That's Jack. <laughs> in a forest full of life and green, let the sun blaze, let it sheen. Birds are happy, tweaking away. I wonder if they ever run out of things to say. It's quiet here. I'm peaceful, you see. Alone at last. I am here. I am free. <laughs> there we go. And in the other words, I thanks know. for coming. Yeah, thanks for coming. That's my little poem. It's just literally come out of my head. Oh, gosh. Hope you enjoyed that little ending there. Hope you enjoyed the Zoom as well. We had a nice close-up of the you reading that. It was fantastic. Was it? Yes. Oh, great. So you zoomed right in, did you? Zoomed right in. Bye for now, everyone. Bye for now. See you in the next one. Peace.